Okay, so just in general, I've had some sticking issues with the earrings. So how I'm gonna solve that is, <coughs> set this down. These two pieces of metal come into contact with each other. You'll see the rubbing on the side of the chute. So in addition to bending these two pieces of metal away from each other so they don't touch, I'm going to spray that hinge up top here, as well as put some more lubricant in between. For now, I'm gonna use PB Blaster, see how that works. Okay, so after a fair amount of PB Blaster lube, you could use WD-40, whatever. Got all these joints. I bent this up. I sprayed it in there, in the hinge from the outside. I sprayed it on the inside of the hinge, in the cracks. And for now, at least it's a good start. It has lots of spring. Didn't have that before. And to control that, using this lever on the left. Mine got stuck at the bottom a lot. Didn't want to go up. So hopefully that's a nice top tip prior to winter to getting your snow thrower up and running. All right, so just another quick tip on keeping your machine going, uh, running well for the winter is I'm using just PB Blaster, you can use WD-40. I'm just looking at any moving part, metal on metal. So under my snow throw, uh, all right, so I'm just gonna make sure um, everything's good for the winter. I'm spraying any which way in any moving part. Um, so anything that moves metal on metal, the snow throw, making sure that's good. Um, the cables, things that move. I'm just going around the whole machine, just taking a look at things. I already addressed lubricating this in a different video. Um, again, just taking a look at anything that might move. But primarily, I'm looking at all my levers, my gears. I'm gonna get into all, all the moving parts, the nuts, make sure everything's secure and that we're good to go so there's no surprises during the winter. Just take a pick, take a quick minute, spray, wipe it down, have a cloth ready so there's no drippage everywhere. But I think this will help in the long run.